But you hadn't lived, I mean, the last time you were living with her as a kid was when you were 15, right? Or 11. 11. And then where did I've you I've stayed live? on and off with her a night or so, but never living with her. Where would you live after 11? In foster care? Yeah. Or did you have foster parents or just foster care? Foster care because I couldn't stay put. You know, then at one point I tried living with her sister, my aunt, and that was another game. They wanted me there just for the money, not the... What about your brother? Same thing. Same thing. He stayed with you the whole time? No, we've been separated since we were kids. And then he's another one. When we do get together, it's usually based on alcohol or drugs. Uh, the last time I spoke to him, he lives in Woodland Hills with this girl. She works at Red Robin, a manager, Sandy. And they got a child, a daughter, a niece. And I spoke with him in November. And I was supposed to get together with him on Christmas. And I told him I was clean and sober and everything. And I can't go over there if you're going to, I can't drink. I said, I can't, I, got, I can't do it. I said, you know what I went through being homeless and everything, I just can't. If you're drinking or doing drugs, I can't be around it. Or watch a movie or something. And then we were talking a few minutes and he was asking me about a beer. And then, I think it was just like December, before Christmas, I go, no, didn't you fucking hear me? I said, I got almost a year, a year and I know I can't drink. I'm not doing that now. That was the last I've heard of him. So he is not, he's not sober, he uses... No, he don't even know what the fucking meeting is. I wish he did. But my brother's got so much going on up here. I honestly believe he's going to be a statistic. He's got my... I got a beautiful niece. Good kid, smart. Smart as can be. And it's like she's being neglected because he's mm -hmm. not participating in life. But it, all these things that I've been sharing with you with the childhood, that's why. And it's... It's boiled down to this, and I understand this, and it even helps me more because I'm doing my recovery thing. I know he needs to basically get into the healing process and start doing things like going to meetings, start meeting more people, getting out and doing things. He hasn't been to prison or none of that shit, but yet he's more mentally handicapped than anybody because he won't take that step, you know? So I'm trying to figure out a way, an approach to help this kid. I say kid, okay, he's 33. And it's like, I gotta have to go to her work and talk with her. And she's a good girl. She don't drink or do drugs. And just show her. And she doesn't even like me because of my past. I've never really done nothing to her, but it's just all the shit that Frank's told her. He makes him look good by making me look bad. Cause I've never disrespected her as far as hurting her now. I've done drugs in her house, but I suppose that's not a big deal considering I could hit her or stole something from her house. So that was, that's one of my, I don't know, I guess I would feel guilty if I'm not like, I'm working with these kids and people down here, but why don't I go and try to reach out to my brother? And I try to call him and he don't even answer the phone these days. So I'm like, there's a will, there's a way. What can I do? I'll go to his girlfriend's work and try to talk to her and can show her, not tell her about what he needs to do, tell, show her what I'm doing. And that's seeing what is believing. And that's, because if you start attacking her about what he needs to do, they're gonna shut down. So I just need to show her where I've come, be done and what, how it's worked for me. Like, that's the sales pitch. Well, fuck, this asshole can do it. Because I was bad out there. And everywhere I went, I got kicked out of and I've got a violent streak. So I just got to show, show them. It's, they know me. So if they see that, hey, it's worked for him, it could work for Frank. And I'm hoping for that. Because that would be good. He, he deserves the same opportunities that we have. He really does. And he's just, he needs to understand that and give himself a chance. And he's really articulate with his hands. He's smarter with his hands than I am. I'm really impatient and clumsy with electricity. I've tried that and then they were messing with these things. He's a smart kid and he's not really bad. And he's just got mental problems for reasons why. Being molested and being abused. So he's fucked up in his head.